Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy and this is the number 17 review of series number nine. Series number nine being premium pouches and we are now in the final stretch. We are still doing skull but we are going through the blends. As you just saw this video will be on the citrus blend pouches and then the next will be berry and then after that and wrapping up this series will be apple but today we will be doing citrus this can is cracked this is the i don't know what take because i don't want to think about it let's take a look at the packaging metal lid obviously raised boxed rim the border of the word skull the border of the letters and the half circle going through the s and l are all raised everything else is flat to the can except a very slight raise between the upper and the warning label The background color, the, the base color, is what I could only describe as a mix between yellow and a OD green. Going out towards the edges, right in here, it is actually sort of a gunmetal gray. I thought it, I thought it faded to full OD green, but getting it under the lamp over here and taking a real close look it it, it goes to gray I, I don't know how they made that work but they somehow did okay but the center background color is sort of a mix between yellow and like OD green if you don't know what OD green is it's like uh, think like 1950s 1960s US Army uniforms the flat green okay Going around to the side and remembering that this can is cracked, you have skull, branding, and the fact that it's citrus and pouches. Now over here, it's fairly yellow, but as you see, as we go around towards the barcode, it goes almost to a full OD green right there. And that's why I thought on the front, the border up here, but I, with this product, it's it's one of those products where, you know what, I, I don't want to know what was being thought when. Anyway, so you have the manufacturer's information and barcode. It is a product of the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee. As with all the other Skull products and the Copenhagen products, it is a .82 net weight gram can. All right, or net weight ounce, I'm sorry. Um, whereas the American Stuff Company products were 0.84. This is 0.82. So you then have the U.S. Smokeless Scrunch Warning Label, Skull Branding, the fact that it's pouches, and that it is Citrus Tobacco Blend. That right there, the Citrus Tobacco Blend, the word, is actually in a straight yellow. And then more general information before we get around to the branding the general information is things such as but not limited to um this is 100 percent american tobacco underage sale is prohibited sale is only allowed in the united states and heck let's just say them all this is smokeless tobacco skull wants you to know that Going around to the back, you got a U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company fresh stamped can and a sell-by date, which is up here, which is March 31st, 2019. Okay, so the can is already cracked. I had a previous take. It, well, I had a number of takes. The fail started when... I had one the first take go 15 and a half minutes before I even got to thank yous and I was like that that's entirely too long for this product so the product is very moist in the can it is the traditional pouches from Skull it is not the flavor flow pouches uh, 
they are a white pouch that has been stained. The product in these is moist enough that there is dark spots on the pouch where the tobacco is coming in full contact with the pouch material. So looking in there, there were 15, there are now down to 13. They're pretty moist. Uh, the smell off the can, and this is where problems start. The smell off the can, to be quite frank, smells to me of lemon all-purpose cleaner. I hate to say it, but that's what it smells like. And you know what? I, I bet 98% of people would agree with me. It smells like a product I used to use. Um, the one in particular that pops into my mind was uh, a number of years ago, Windex came out with an all-purpose cleaner. It was great. I loved it because it was an all-purpose cleaner, but it could also be used on glass and mirrors. So it was like one bottle, everything. Um, this smells exactly like the stuff. Exactly. Like dead on. But... If you're not familiar with that product, the problem with this product is that, okay, 95% of all all-purpose cleaners are lemon-scented, okay? And they all sort of smell the same, varying degrees of strength and smell, but they all sort of smell the same. This stuff smells like all of them. Uh, you know, I, I wish I could put it another way. I did try. That's part of the, that's the other reason for as many takes this video took because I, I didn't want to put it out there like that, but that's, that's the bottom line. And although that is just my opinion, I'm pretty sure that almost everybody, 98 out of 100 people would agree with me. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to fluff them up here. They're good sized pouches. They're packed pretty good. Uh, the skull come very full in the can. The can, like all space is used. So sometimes the ones up top need to be sort of like fluffed up because they've been flattened by the, the lid coming down on them. They're very moist. The, the product's in good shape. I'll be back in a second because I'm actually going to have to wipe my hands. I'll be back in a second because I'm actually going to have to wipe my hands. And I am back. And that pause button is absolutely freaking killing me lately. All right. So, unfortunately, in anybody's mind or in most people's mind, this product goes sideways upon smelling the product in the can. That then gets into your head and it translates over to taste. This stuff smells like all-purpose cleaner. Well, hopefully no one here knows actually what all-purpose cleaner tastes like. So really that's just sort of your head playing tricks on you. It's, it's matching the flavor up with the smell. And, you know, and I haven't helped by putting it in your head in the first place. So in... Small doses, the flavor is okay. This is an original pouches, so the release takes a little while before it really gets going. It's not immediate like the flavor flow pouches. In small quantities before it really gets going, it's tolerable. Once it gets going, I find it not overly appealing. I can deal with it. And the reason I can deal with it is because it's from Skull. So the product's not sketchy. It's safe enough. It's just, let me put it this way. If this tasted like this and this can said kayak on it, I'd be going, oh my God, did I just put something in my mouth that's been sprayed down with all-purpose cleaner? But it's not. It's Skull. It's fine. But... Once the flavor gets going and that citrus really starts picking up, I do not care for it at all. Um, this is one deal where the top flavoring could be brought down and the dark tobacco brought up 
and it might work a little bit better. That said, somebody must like it because God knows it's still around, right? Skull Vanilla isn't, but this stuff is. So, you know, it, it, uh, this is one of those things you either love it or you hate it. Now, you can look around online and there's all sorts of people talking about how much they hate it. But somebody out there must love it because it's still here. It's probably another... To give you an idea of the demographic that may be liking this, I fully believe that this product is actually probably sold more in pouches than it is in long cut. Somebody new to dipping might be more open to this flavor. I am not. Um, but somebody that's new to dipping... I'm coming from the standpoint of dipping naturals and straight for years. Every once in a while, you know, a little mint, a little wintergreen, eh, occasional peaches, all right, but straight and natural. So to me, coming from that history, this is not a good thing at all. Um, but if you run into it in a store, and they got it on some, you know, clearance sale because it's getting towards the end of its shelf life. If you can get it cheap enough, you might you, you might want to at least give it a try. Uh, you know, it's 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 in its de okay, not in its defense. In its favor is that it is a very different product. As far as citrus goes, the only other one that I know of is Seneca. And I don't know if I want to know anything beyond that. Tough Guy has lemon, but technically that's chew. And if you really want to go into citrus, Tough Guy technically has orange too. But this is sort of, this is it. This or Seneca if you were somewhere where you can actually get Seneca. I don't like it. I don't like it, and but the worst thing for me about it is, once it gets going, and the flavor really starts coming in, then I'm like, I, I want to get this out of my mouth. I get it out of my mouth. The worst part about the flavor is the aftertaste of this stuff. It doesn't go away. Just because you expelled it from your mouth doesn't mean you're going to end the, the taste ends there. It doesn't. So keep that in mind. Um, all in all, as with everything else in this series, the packaging is quality. All right. The product comes in good condition, partially due to the packaging being quality. It's different, but I don't see... There's going to be a select few that like this, uh, and I am not one of them. There's nicotine. It's not. There's not much of it. it it's all right though. It, it would get me through from skipping a pipe session or whatnot. It, it's there. It's just not. You know, not not that I expected it to be strong. Flavor at. Um, we, I don't need to say any more about the flavor. I I don't like it. And and ninety percent of people, ninety five percent of people are not going to like this. All right. So think if I got this can for like. I think in my area, and I'm in a metro area, I think I got it for like $3.50. If you can get it underneath that, maybe, you know, if you've never had it, but the chances are you're only going to have it once. That'll be the only time. But it is different. That's in its favor. It's in quality packaging. That's in its favor. Uh, the product in the packaging, uh, you know, visually, it, it's in good shape. The pouches are all right. I like the flavor flow better, but the pouches are all right. There is nicotine there. It's not a lot of it, you know. Um, and that's 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 really about it. it. It's safe enough. That's that's the other thing that's in its favor. It's from Skull, and you don't have to worry about you know. It's not like some of these other third tier things where like oh man, I wish you know I, I don't know about this. It's safe enough. I don't have a problem like putting it in my mouth or anything. It's just I don't care for it at all. Um, so this has been the review of Skull 
citrus tobacco blend pouches. Safe enough product, quality product, but a product I do not care for flavor-wise. All right? I am the Suntai Dip and Chew guy. I'd like to say hello and thank you to Chris Schlitt, F Flapple Dorp, Mark Vituano, and someone with an impronounceable Russian lettered name, which I am not even going to attempt because I don't even know what to call a couple of the letters. But if you see this, you'll probably know who you are. Thank you to all of you. Uh, that is all the uh, notifications I got. All right. Do check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83. If you're into gaming, Real Talk Studios. And if you are interested in information on Snus, his videos are in German. But if you ask him in the comment section, he will reply to you in English. Check out snoosefreak.com. Guys, do take care of yourselves. And we still went past 16 minutes. I'm not doing this again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not doing it again. Um, guys, take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.